right, let's have a little head drama. Ladies, I'm going to need your help on this one today. Here's the question. Why do guys get a free pass to check out other women, even when theirs is around? Our watchdog on Wall Street, Chris Markowski, is joining us. It's about time you brought me in on something I'm actually good at. Yes. All right, be sure. Yeah. As, as everyone who watches the show know, we give you a free pass to comment on things other than financial matters. So, uh, why, why is this? Why is this that, uh, well, you know, and I don't even know that it's true that we get the free pass as, as far as women you don't, don't know get that a free it's pass? true? No, they you guys do it all the time. Well, sure. That ring on your finger doesn't yeah. stop you from checking out other women. Well, of course but I do. I bet the wife slapping you upside the head, May. When I got, when well, I got... Women never do this, though. Right. Now, they're just... They're just, okay. they're just women, wait a minute. Women, just women, women definitely just check out other men, but we don't break our necks to check out other men. You see men be like... Brandy, you see this? I'm still breathing. Okay. The, the moment I stop checking, dig a hole six feet and put me in it. Okay? It is what it is. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You wouldn't want to wear burkas? Seriously. There's nothing wrong with seeing somebody beautiful. I don't think there's, any, don't think there's any, anything wrong with, with looking at another but, woman. It's just when the guys are like head to toe, checking really? them out, following them all the way, you know, breaking their necks. It's interesting you guys away. go to the mall it's just to uh, look around. That's interesting. Right. <laughs> Window shop. As the estrogen the representative today, the, the wife and I have no problem with that. She'll, and I was just like, yeah, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. And, and she, you know, she doesn't care. If it's for 25 years. Though, I mean, if it's from like head to toe and back up again and following them all around, don't you think that's, that's called, a little that's disrespectful? That's not called a husband. That's called a pervert. Maybe so. They do this. What about so. you? Try to have a little restraint when you're around your significant other. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let us know what you think. Uh, why is the guy seem to get a pass on checking out the ladies? Head to toe and back up again and following them all around. Don't you think that's, that's called, a little disrespectful? That's not called a husband. That's called a pervert. <laughs> yeah. Maybe so. They do this. What about so. you? Try to have a little restraint when you're around your I mean, significant other. Yes. Uh, okay. Let us know what you think. Uh, why is the guy seem to get a pass on checking out the ladies? Oh, the head drama. Check out these stories on our new and improved website, dailybuzznow.com. And do me a favor, pass the aspirin while you're at it. All right, we thought we had a little fun today on St. Patrick's Day and talk about Lucky Charms and not the delicious Lucky cereal. Charm. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's good. Well, we wanted to know, uh, do you have a Lucky Charm? And if so, what is it? Let's start with Brandy. Brandy? I said, uh, you know, I have four dogs. I'm a big animal lover. And I said, my one dog, Bella, look at her. That is my Lucky Charm. Is that just the cutest uh, thing ever? No. She's, uh, she's one of those dogs that's easy to travel with. You know, so I take her a lot of places and she just, I just love her to pieces. Like Mine is a, a purple horseshoe. Uh, in yeah. fact, it's the one pictured right there. The <laughs> and why a purple uh, horseshoe? I don't know why it's X'd out, but uh, well, just because I was eating some bowl Lucky Charms, and I decided that would be the one to keep in my wallet the rest of my life. Oh, okay, that's weird. All now, right, Chris. I was never superstitious. Only when I played baseball when I was younger was I superstitious. And actually, the last fist fight I got in with my younger brother was over a jock strap because you know we we shared rooms together, and that one was a lucky jock strap. I'm, that's TMI. Wow. But let us know what yours is. That's your big news. Let's head around the water cooler where we're talking about some financial matters with our friend Chris Markowski, the watchdog on Wall Street. First up, uh, the possibility of seeing $5 ATM fees uh, mm -hmm. coming soon. A lot of banks, uh, including Chase, various others, are test marketing in certain cities. Fees now up to four and five bucks. Chase oh, oh. is doing it in Illinois and Texas. This is what uh, the Wall Street Journal is talking about. I've mm -hmm. seen several four dollar fees so is it that much of a stretch to up at another buck uh, i don't want to say anything but they test marketing the intelligence in those areas first <laughs> Didn't mi mitch was giving movie quotes or it was as stupid is as stupid does four is <laughs> gone yeah. yeah i mean no one's holding a gun to your head and saying hey listen take you know take 20 bucks out and pay five dollars to do it right but so. let's think about it say they uh, got to pay for parking so to say and there's only one atm yeah, in that vicinity sense. and they're charging five dollars what do you do you don't have any cash on you walk farther yeah. Walk farther or or in you know, there was a time in this country, um, years and years ago, like maybe twenty, uh, where there was no such thing as an ATM and if you wanted to have cash on you, you made sure you had enough cash on you. Yeah, yeah but at the same time, I mean I'm I'm one that's guilty of this. I all I always forget to go to the bank. I always forget to get cash, so I, I have to oh. hit up an ATM if I need it. You know what's going to help you remember that? A $5 fee. There you go. Time to take yeah. it out. Nothing like getting a $5 fee. <laughs> yes, but I've also been in the situations where you need that money for, for whatever it may be, and there's only one ATM that you know about. Maybe you're in an area that you're not familiar with, and you gotta you got to pay for it. Yeah. 
You know, but why, why do you think it is that the banks are starting to do this? Because they can. I mean, if yeah. people are willing to pay the price for something, they're going to go ahead and they're going to do that. In the same sense, I mean, this is like Econ 101, that Starbucks can charge what it does for a cup right. of coffee. It's yeah. the same sense somebody's going to charge that much for an right. ATM. If they're going to put pay. it in a bad area of town or someplace that's not as accessible, whatever it may be, they're going to charge that much. Yeah, very interesting stuff. Well, let us know what you think. Would you pay $5 ATM fees? Here's our question du jour. How will you use your tax refund? Do you plan to spend it or do you plan on saving it? Now, you've talked about this on the show before. Mm -hmm. You don't think it's necessarily a good thing to get a tax return, right? Well, they're just returning your money. And you, you paid the government and you gave them an interest-free loan basically over the course of the year. Now, if you owed the government money and you didn't pay it, they're going to charge you a penalty. They're going to charge you interest. The government's not going to give you interest on your money. Right. Maybe, all right, fine, great, you're getting money back. But once again, understand this is not found. You didn't win the lottery. It's yours anyway. Yeah, well, we put this question on our Facebook page. This is what some of our viewers are saying. Tanya says, with a daughter in college, that is a no-brainer, but I did treat myself to new tires for my truck. Joey says, spent all of mine on bills to get ahead by a month, so if I lose my job or anything, I have one solid month paid ahead of everything so I don't have to sweat. Brenda says, use it to pay last year's taxes. So what is your advice, Chris, for people that do get maybe a substantial check in the mail? Uh, how should they spend it? The people on Facebook seem to have the right idea. I mean, the, the, your first person there, they needed to get new tires for their car. That's a necessity, mm -hmm. something that they had to have. So they're using and putting their money towards that. The person paying off bills, paying down debt, whatever Smart. it may be. Getting your financial house in order. That's what it's all about. If you have the opportunity to get some of that money back, go ahead. Get yourself yeah. a step ahead. Well, a Gelton Financial Pro says on that site you should pay off your credit card debt, beef up your savings account. Another one is add an extra payment to your mortgage. Contribute to a 529 college fund. All good things, Chris? Absolutely. Not only that, you still have time. Well, this is if you haven't filed your taxes yet, you may want to be sticking some money. You still have until April 15th. Stick it into an IRA. Put some more money away, which will actually may be able to give you some extra money back by lowering your top line. All good tips. Let us know how you're going to spend your tax return if you get one. You can always head to our website, dailybuzznow.com, or our official Twitter or Facebook page. What you going to do with that money that you get back? I never get any back, so I don't have to worry about it. Well, you're doing the right thing. <laughs> Gal Time and the Daily Buzz are giving away a purse and jewelry from our... In honor of St. Patty's Day, yeah. we have some hot men in kilts, and we have uh, something that you may not know about kilts. The kilt originated in Ireland, and then the Scots took it with them when they immigrated. Did you know that? I had no idea. Yeah, just a little. I just wanted to share that with you all. But you know what? I'll be that much better at Trivia Pursuit next time. Yep, now you know. Yeah. Hey, there's a lot of celebs in Hollywood that have rocked some kilts. Uh, just to name a few, we have Ashton Kutcher with a camo one. Oh, thank you so much. That's Mike Myers. Oh my. Don't do it silly. to me. Don't start rubbing my neck. Vin Diesel, <laughs> who rocked a leather one. I mean, what do you think about this, Chris? I mean, it, oh, and there's our, our trick Mike D. He's by far rocks the best. What do you think about this? Is it silly for men to wear to wear the kilt, even though it is a tradition? Um, I guess it depends if you're wearing on it, anything underneath it. I guess that's probably, you know. Isn't that the point, though, yeah. not to wear anything underneath I it? I think that is the point. Let us know what you think, hot or not. Let's play uh, St. Patrick's Day trivia. Yeah! And joining me now is uh, Bri and Katie there from the uh, Tilted Kilt. And honestly, guys, there's no reason for me to even speak. So they're going to ask you the questions, Chris, uh, oh. Brandy. And uh, also, too, we wanted to bring a little bit more estrogen to the show for you, Thank Brandy. You very okay. Much. Cool. So uh, now you have to answer instead of true or false, you have to say for true, luck of the Irish. If it's false, you have to say a bunch of blarney. Okay. okay. Now, who would like to start off? Okay. Bree? Okay. 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 okay, here we go. Here's our first question. All right. Okay. First St. Patrick's Day parade took place in 1737 in Boston. All right, luck of the Irish or a bunch of Blarney? Uh, a bunch of Blarney. Yeah, a bunch of Blarney. Luck of the Irish. Chris Markowski gets it right. Luck of the Irish. All right, here's our next one. All right, let's see if my voice holds up. All right, an estimated 6 million pints of Guinness will be consumed on St. Patrick's Day 2010, according to a Guinness spokesman. Last year, how much? I wasn't paying attention. I was distracted. I was distracted too. Luck of the Irish, Luck of the Irish Chris. Luck of the Irish. And by the way, Mitch, you are winning. Right now. I am winning. <laughs> okay, you're winning. Exactly. <laughs> Chris got it right. A bunch of glory. <laughs> Thirteen million pints of Guinness last year. All right, here's our next one. Here. All right. Let's see. Oh no no. All right. 
The color originally associated with St. Patrick's was blue. Green became associated during the 19th century. Well, that's the answer, uh, but that's okay! <laughs> <laughs> St. Patrick's Day tradition. It started by accident in 1962 when city workers used dyes to test the river for illegal sewage. When they realized the dyes turned the river bright green, the city officials decided, hey, that'd be a unique way for the city to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. The first year, they used 100 pounds of the dye, which kept the river green for a week. Now, to help the environment, they only use enough to keep it green for a few hours. Okay, let's have a little head drama. Ladies, I'm going to need your help with this one here. Why do guys get a free pass to check out other women, even when theirs is around, is what we're asking. Today, we've got the watchdog on Wall Street, Chris Markowski, weighing in on this topic. Guys, because give it to his expertise on give this topic. Yes, <laughs> because, some, because let's face it, often when you are uh, checking out a woman, there is money involved, depending on, <laughs> <laughs> depending on if there's a pole in the room or... What's, it, what's that old saying? You're paying one way or another? It does come down to a matter of respect, you know. I mean, it, you know, and all joking aside about it, but I mean, if you're in a confident relationship, and ladies, come on, we know you check them out. That's why there's the thunder we from do, down and under and, and all that stuff. So who cares? That. What, that. Wouldn't you want us to do it in front of you or behind your back? That's what I always hear is that crap. Hey, here's my problem. Okay, we're all human. Everybody's going to look at other people that they find beautiful. I get that. It's how they do it. There are men out there that will look from head to toe, yeah. up and down, yeah. front and back, well, and watch time I check, until they walk you, out Last time I checked, room. you have a whole body. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but that's disrespectful yeah. if your woman is around. It's my, disrespectful. My wife's cool for it. I, mean, I know, I disagree completely. Um, I mean, if she says there's a problem with it, then there is, but my wife as doesn't As we continue care. the conversation, take a look at this video. This has uh, gone viral, and a, a couple of women put uh, hidden cameras in their jeans uh, at their derriere level, and... Uh, and caught all these guys checking out. Ah. And girls. Yeah, and few girls. girls. Yeah. Yeah. But mostly guys checking out their behind. Right here, look. Ah. Look. You know, I, I like the yeah, wife who one. says, it doesn't matter where you get your appetite as long as you come home for dinner. There you yep. go, Andy. Very nice. Oh, the head drama. Check out these stories on our new and improved website, dailybuzznow.com. And do me a favor, pass the aspirin while you're at it. All right, so we are talking about uh, Lucky Charms, right? Do you yeah, and all in honor of St. Patrick's Day, which yeah. is today. Each one of us supposedly has a Lucky Charm. I know I said mine is one of my dogs, uh -huh. Bella. We have a picture of her. Look at her. Okay. Aww. I know. How sweet is she? Mine is uh, mine is the purple horseshoe. Right. Um, and that's the one that I like. Fascinating explanation that goes with that. <laughs> Want to share? No, I, I'm just making a joke. What's okay. yours, Mitch? <laughs> there isn't. What's your What's your lucky charm? Oh, I don't. Well, I have a couple of them. Really? Oh. Yeah. What are they? Can we see them? Yeah. Come on in. Uh, there they are, right here. Oh. Uh, yeah. 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 If I play Very my low. cards right. If I play my cards right. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I would, I, would, I would never be without those lucky charms. I'm going to need one now because I stood next to that broken mirror. I don't have bad luck for seven years now. That's true. Chris broke a mirror earlier Didn't on break the show. Mirror. I'm hey, wrongly accused. Share it with us. I know Andy and I have this on our Facebook page. What is your lucky charm? We want to know. Did I? <laughs> All right, we are we're joined by some of the folks, by the way, uh, from Tilted Kilt this morning. Uh, so they're here hanging out with us, the ladies, the gentlemen. We got eye candy for everybody. Yes, uh, they're decorating our set this morning. Yeah. Hey, this they're is decorating what we got my up life, next. Like the top Rogers. 12 performed last <laughs> night on Idol, singing songs from the year that they were born. Now, here are some of the best performances, followed by, at, at the end here, uh, one incredible hot mess. Check it out. Ryan's doing makeup now. Wow. He was trying to get that lipstick off so she had gotten with the mic, right? Yeah, you I just love that he licks his finger and then wipes it off. <laughs> I thought it was interesting to see Seacrest wiping something off of someone else's Andy, chin. you cannot <laughs> say that. Oh, Andy. that's true. What? Uh, all righty, here's our sister. As I wipe the drool off my uh, chin here. Well, here's our question. What 1980s TV show?